What I've managed to do here is get these two cans stuck together. So I'm off to a great start. I, uh, I cut the hole in the top of this with a knife and then I did a test fit and I put the two together and I can't pry them up apart without risking deforming the top, which I don't want to do. So if you're going to do this at home, don't, don't do a test fit until you've done all your preparation and stuff because um, now I have to drill holes in this without, um, yeah, it could have been a little bit easier. So just don't make the same mistake I did. So I've got three cans here. I'm going to cut this one short and place it in the bottom and I think it's best to, sh uh, to show and not tell in this case. You'll get the idea pretty quick. I just need to drilling these holes, don't drill it too close to the top, drill it down a bit so um, the wood gas and air mixture just have a little bit more time to combust. So don't, don't drill it right at the top, just come down a bit. I'm going to come down to this to the middle of this um, first. We found a donor for the beetroot. Life is good. I'm not going to go nuts with the holes. You can always drill more holes later. Woo! Six, seven, eight, nine holes, which are, I think they're about eight mil. Looking at them. Yeah. Let's move up to the step drill. A metric, baby. Don't hate me for it. Woo! Alright, now, for repeatability's sake, I'm going to mark the step drill. I'm just going to step these up to the next size. One of them there I stuffed up and just went a little bit too deep, so we'll make them all the same. <laughs> Fairly straightforward so far. We'll hopefully get good, um, good draw through those larger holes and these little holes at top have a mixture of wood gas and oxygen. Now we need some holes in the outside of this now for it to be able to draw air through. Um, and make it maybe a little bit less sensitive to wind. I'm going to keep those holes smallish, but lots of them. Yeah. Yep. So let's go back.
This is the crucial bit. This is the bit that'll make a big difference. That was freaking scary. Okay, now this little piece is to go down the very bottom and the nuts are going to sit on top of that and allow the, the draw that's going to happen on the outside of the tin is hope it's going to pull the wood gas and stuff down out through those larger holes in the inner can and we're going to create a nice, I guess you call it secondary burn, a bit of a flare at the top which is just... Um, yeah, so it's just going to drop straight down to the bottom. Just like that. And there you go. So now we, we have a space at the bottom. This puppy is ready to fill with nuts and set on fire. Got a few green ones in there. This is just um, methylated spirits. This will help the ignition but not contaminate the fuel. And some of it touched the cut on my thumb. Okay. Wow. Let's turn the lights off. that palm oil now is just um, is really starting to go for it.
know the amazing thing about this is there is there is practically no odour at all coming from the stove. There's no smoke. Um, yeah, it, it's an extremely clean combustion. The, the alcohol had more of an odour when it was burning than what this does currently. That's very clean. That's very clean. So it's been nine minutes now since I've put the, um, the billy on top and we have steam. Let's turn the light on. I'll let it get all the way to the boil before I um, pull it off. And I'll take that cage off and we'll have a look down inside. So that works out um, nearly 10 minutes exactly from room temperature water, two cups, to the boil. I'd say that we're almost halfway through the amount of um, palm nuts that I put in there. And I can see the bottom of the can. Which is really even all the more impressive, the fact that there's everything's reduced right down and the flame has stayed really consistent. Um, it's quite impressive. I really want it to hurry up and go out so I can um, go and have a cup of tea. <laughs> okay, so how much ash did we make after all that? Surprise, surprise, the rock didn't burn. <laughs> that in the grand scheme of things really isn't all that much ash, considering how full that tin was. So there you go. I think it's time to move on with the actual build. Thanks for watching, guys.